It's his birthday, folks. Dennis Brown in the background. Happy birthday. All right, so we just departed the Red Eye flight and ended up in Sweden, here to serve up some crap kakor. Is Chef Latoya Panton. Well, go on. And you are from? Delicious occasions, catering and cooking classes. Brilliant. And you're still doing the classes for the youngsters and stuff? Yes, I am, and adults as well. Okay, you have a physical space? Or you yes, just... we do. We are in Barbican. Where? In Bird Soccer Muse in Barbican. Okay, what do you serve? What, breakfast, lunch, dinner? Or... Well, we are cooking classes and okay. catering. Oh, so, so we yeah. have classes from four years old up to retired okay. people. Okay, I thought, I, I thought you did a little um, thing for yourself also. Crap kakor. Crap kakor. And this is a Swedish dumpling that we're going to make today. So, let's right. go. What's so, in this Swedish dumpling? So, in this we have bacon and onions are the filling with pimento. And then the dough, which is potatoes, flour, and eggs. Okay. And that's our dough. So, it's pretty quick to put together and it's the most delicious thing. So let's go. Really good. So, we're going to start off dicing up some onions. And then we are going to cook our bacon and onions together and we add some pimento to that. So is that the only filling that it should have? Is that how they, well, how they do it? Traditionally, it's done with salt pork. Uh, we're using bacon here and okay. it's usually a pork based dish. Okay. But I'm sure we can turn it into our own. Okay. You can make it a vegetarian one. The dough, if you just do the dough plain, I enjoy that. And we're going to serve it with some lingon berries. Lingon berries. Lingon berries. And these are, we got these at CPJ Market. I didn't know they were in Jamaica. And they're Swedish. But yes, they're Swedish. Lingon berries. Lingon berries. What are they like locally? They are, I have been looking for a substitute. They, I haven't found something that's very close. It has a distinct taste. Okay. But we can, um, sure, this will taste nice with something like even a guava jelly. Okay. It would okay. be nice. But it doesn't so, taste like that, is what you're saying? No, it okay. has it, it has a, something about it that's really distinctively its yeah. own. So we're going to do some bacon. We cook up our bacon. A plenty of bacon that too. Yeah, it's all going to render down. And we're going to add to that our onion. onion. So we're just going to cook this down for a little. And then we get our onions in. Is this a, a, a breakfast thing? This is something, it can be breakfast, lunch, or dinner to me. I think it can go either way, even as a snack Okay. in between. It's something that you can make them small and serve as a hors d'oeuvre if you want to. You're entertaining. It's just so it's, a really delicious It's not delicious like our fried dumpling. It's not like the difference in the dough now is that we have potatoes in here and okay. eggs where we would have had flour baking powder in our fried dumpling. Yeah. So, and I think we can adapt this, the idea. I think even if we try a Jamaican boiled dumpling dough with this, it would be really good, just okay. the same. So we have our bacon cooking, and then we want to get our onions in. And it's a pretty quick dish. All right, so while this is going, I'm going to do the dough. So we get that going. And then for our dough, it's mashed potatoes. So I just boil some potatoes in salted water and I mash them. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add to this one egg and some flour. And you just mix up everything? You just mix everything and you get a nice dough. So I'll use this and I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. I actually cook my potatoes with some salt as well. Okay. And then you just get this all together and you have your dough ready. So it's pretty and that's it. That's it. You can put this to rest for a few minutes and then go back to form them. So I have some here that I did earlier. So that would have been my dough. Yeah. All right. So now I have some dough that I prepared earlier and... That's ready now? The bacon and so onion No, ready. I'm gonna, the onion would need to cook a little, for a little bit longer, but I have some that I prepared ahead. So I have some filling here. So the last thing I'll do to this is to add some pimento. Okay, all right. We are gonna have to go to a break and when we come back, we will see your, your finished product, all right? Um, so there you go. She's uh, a chef, obviously, that I at Panton. And delicious occasions, how we find delicious occasions? Well, we, you can, um, we're on Instagram, Delicious Occasions J A, right. or you can call us 509-0093. Okay, great to see you and thanks for coming.
All right, we're going to go for a break. When we come back, uh, um, uh, it's a little bit left, so stay with us. Whoa.